Hello, Taurus sun signs, rising signs, and moons. This is your May 2019 taroscope from me, Kim, at Expressions of the Universe. And for this month, I am using the Shamanic Oracle deck from Colette Baron Reed. And I'm also going to pull you one card from the Crystal Ally deck to see what we have in store. So this month we have, for May, a new moon in Taurus on May the 4th. So it's your new moon. It's time to make your new moon wishes. And it's all about what we're manifesting. So the main message for this new moon, since it is at 14 degrees, is clear your mind, clear your thoughts, and only think about what it is that you want. Only think good things. So that's what you have in store. And the full moon will be on dun, 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 May 18th. It says on this calendar that it's a blue moon. It is at 29 degree Scorpio. And that's about integrity because it nets to an 11. Integrity over the things that you possess. So it's the opposite of Taurus. So that's what we're going to focus on for those new and full moons. We're also thinking about on the full moon what it is that we're getting rid of. We'll be getting ready to move into Gemini at that point. So let's see. We're going to pick three cards. And the first card that's coming up is the medicine wheel. This is the initiation of body, mind, and spirit, ancestors, heaven versus earth. This is also the four directions that you would enter into and have to go through this cycle. This medicine wheel is a cycle. It is the beginning of your personal new year because it is your birthday times Taurus and this is also telling me that how you start this birth time year is going to be completely different how it's going to look one year from now but you need to embrace all of the energies of four directions in shamanic practices I do have a video excuse that pop I'm going to pause this real quick. I do have a YouTube video on here about calling in the four directions. And so you may want to check that out. And I'm pretty sure I also have a companion blog for it. The next card that I am seeing for you, it is the lower world. So in shamanic practices, and the reason why I'm choosing these shamanic cards is because it's so earth-based, it's so Mother Earth Gaia-based, and that's what Taurus the Bull is. And since this is for May, I just thought I would really seek myself into that. But the lower world is going deep within yourself, going deep within the shadow side of yourself and trying to figure out those dark places within yourself that need some light shown on them. Uh, I know Tauruses can be very stubborn. They can also seclude themselves often away from everyone else and get into, you know, like quite a mood. And so this is asking you to try and, try and dig deep and find out where those places are that are hurting and shine some light onto them. Okay, and the third and final card of the shamanic deck. Huh, this is really interesting. Now this is upper world. This is where all of our ancestors live, our spirit guides, ascended masters. This is taking you up to a higher realm. And I'm thinking that, you know, when I'm looking at this medicine wheel and the different parts of ourselves that we have to go through, the snake would be represented by the lower world. 
and the hummingbird up at the top. I think that's a hummingbird. It should be, or an eagle. That would be the upper world. And this is saying it's time for you to connect with your ancestors and your spirit guides, the ascended masters, angels. Um, you can check out ascended masters and follow your intuition and follow your inner guidance because you're being sent messages this month, especially if it's your birthday. So I would expect that you may be seeing some signs yourself. You need to pay attention. Listen, pay attention to the songs on the radio, either the lyrics or the titles of the songs. Look for feathers, look for pennies or dimes. Um, you may even hear whispers in your ears, somebody calling your name. It's your ancestors, your loved ones that have crossed over that are coming to wish you a happy birthday. All right, and the crystal ally card, the crystal you need to work with for the month of May, Taurus, sun signs, rising signs, and moons is... It's Larimar, and it's about nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, being really good to yourself during your birthday time, your birthday month. Larimar is a beautiful blue stone, kind of like a beautiful, perfect, perfect blue sky, and it can only be found down in the Caribbean. I'm pretty sure it's the Dominican Republic. And it is such a soothing and nurturing stone. This is saying spend time in water, spend time cleansing the body, salt baths, the ocean, lakes, creeks, rivers, anywhere that you can get a good dose of water is recommended for you. And I know you're Taurus the Bull, you're an earth sign that could make a little bit of mud, but it's going to bring all of that stuff up from the lower world so that you can rise up to the upper world. So happy birthday, Taurus sun signs. And I will see you back here in June. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you know any Tauruses, go and check and see your friends' videos and share it with them. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.